And how does it feel? You want to go first? All right. Um, honestly, it just feels that much more worth it because, you know, um, our freshman year we weren't supposed to win. We were underdogs going in, and um, then this year, you know, it, it was close. It was very close, and we knew what we were capable of, and we knew that we could come out and, and win. And just the fact that we stayed so close as a team throughout these entire what, five, six months that we've been in the season, and the fact that we had no girls want to drop out, and that everyone was so excited to be back, and it just. Yeah, it makes it that much more worth it. And the fact that we came out here and we raced our butts off today, it was, it was the best feeling ever. I gotta ask you, I mean, you were supposed to win. On paper, you were the team to beat. Were you the team that was supposed to double almost everyone else's score? What? I mean, you guys, there's a light fire lit under your butt. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think that um, our senior class definitely has the experience of having three state meets, but I don't think anyone has the experience to deal with the season has this season has been a meet like this. And I think that that only motivates our whole team to do better, our whole team to want to stay in the pool, to grind it out. And I think that those dedication of all the girls around us and like this whole team really showed up and gave us the results that we had today. And I couldn't be happier with this whole team and the way that we've all swam. And it's a great way to end our high school careers. I want to ask one more question. And this is, I was trying to do the math. I tried to look up all the last three state finals and all that. I want to say with today, the two of you have combined for 21 state championships, you know, relays combined. I mean, over these four years, how do you sum up your careers here? And, and again, how does that feel that, I mean, I know you're going to be teary-eyed at some point if you haven't already, that it's over, but. We've already both cried, yeah. so I mean, there's nothing new there, but I think it's been an incredible four years. We swam together in middle school and stuff and had our run in middle school leagues, and I think that only prepared us for the four years we've had at high school, and it's been a great experience to train together, to race together, to race on those relays, to support each other through all the individual successes, and honestly, like, I couldn't ask for a better like training partner and stuff and like a better competitor and I'm so excited for to see what Gwen does in the next four years at Ohio State too. Where are you going? So yes, I'm going to Ohio State. She's going to Northwestern, so we'll be You're big, both swimming then? Yeah, we're big ten, big 10 buddies. So um yeah, I mean exactly what she said. I couldn't have asked for a better a better training partner, a better lane buddy for the last yeah. three years. And um, you know, just having her be there to talk to, to just know that she knows you know exactly what I'm going through and uh, she's there for support and I'm just I'm so excited that these past seven years that we've been together and for four more. Wait, really so middle school you swam with each other on the same yes, middle school team? Oh, what was that at? Um, Kramer. We both went to Kramer Middle School been there, okay. so obviously took that experience and obviously that success and kind yes. of tra transferred to high school and it's been great and really happy that we were able to end that four free really especially kind of together anchoring yeah like back to back right at the end and finishing off our high school careers together. So. Now you're going to be competitors. Yes. Maybe not always conference. the same events, but yeah. <laughs> but same conference and we still get to see each other, yeah. which is great. So.